Graphing the Conics, an introduction. The purpose of this lesson is to briefly go over what conic sections are and also to take a look at the types of equations used for different conic sections. I plan to have follow-up lessons demonstrating how to graph the conics without and with the use of graphing calculators. The conic sections we'll look at are circles, ellipses, parabolas, and hyperbolas. The circle is formed by making a horizontal slice in an upright cone, as shown here by the red, red circle. The standard form of the equation of circle is x minus h quantity squared plus y minus k quantity squared equals the radius squared, or r squared. x and y are the variables in this equation. The constant h is a number that moves the center of the circle left or right from x equals zero on a coordinate plane. Counterintuitively, if h is positive so that it's x minus a positive number, it moves the center of the circle to the right, while a negative h resulting in x plus a number moves the center of the circle to the left. And the constant k is a number that moves the center of the circle up or down from y equals zero on a coordinate plane. Also counterintuitively, if k is a positive number so that it's y minus a positive number, it moves the center of the circle upward while a negative k resulting in y plus a number moves the center of the circle downward. The constant r gives the radius of a circle. In this circle, the value of r is 7, so the value of r squared is the square of 7, or 49. For this smaller circle, the value of r, or radius, is 2, so the value of r squared is 4. The next conic we'll look at is the ellipse. It comes from a cone sliced at a non-vertical slant and is here shown as a yellow elliptical slice. The standard form of the equation of an ellipse is similar to that of a circle. There is x minus h quantity squared over a squared plus y minus k quantity squared over b squared and all that is equal to 1. As in a circle, the constant h moves the ellipse to the left and right of the y-axis. x minus some number moves it to the right and x plus some number moves the ellipse to the left. And the k constant moves the ellipse up and down. If it's y minus a positive number, the ellipse moves up. If it's y plus a positive number, the ellipse moves downward. The constant a determines how wide the ellipse is horizontally. A is the distance from the center of the ellipse to the edge of the ellipse. For this ellipse, the value of A is 7 since the center is at x equals negative 3 and goes out to the edge at x equals positive 4. The longest measure of an ellipse is called the major axis. The value of A is half of the major axis, so in this case major axis 7 times 2 is 14. The constant b determines how tall the ellipse is vertically. b is the distance from the center of the ellipse to the top or bottom of the ellipse. For this ellipse, b is 3 since the center is at y equals 2 and it goes up to y equals 5 at the upper edge. The value of b is half of the smallest or minor axis of an ellipse. So in this case, the length of the minor axis is 3 times 2 or 6. Here's the parabola conic section, shown by the green slice. A telltale feature, feature of the parabola equation is that one side has a squared term, as y squared on the left side, while the other side does not have a squared term. This is a y squared term in this form. This is the standard vertex form of a parabola. This is the horizontal standard form. This value h moves the vertex of the parabola left or right. If it's x minus a number, it moves to the left. In this parabola, the value of h is 3, since the vertex is 3 units to the left of the y-axis. This value k moves the parabola up and down. y minus a number, as in this parabola, moves the parabola upward. A hyperbola is created by taking a vertical slice from a cone. 
The equation for a hyperbola looks very much like the equation for an ellipse, but with one key difference. In the equation in the standard form for a hyperbola, there is a minus sign between the x squared and y squared terms, whereas the equation for an ellipse has a plus sign here. When graphed, the y squared minus the x squared portions gives us a hyperbola or oriented like this one where the curves have a vertical axis of symmetry. That axis is shown by the red line segment here. Or here in this change form where it's x squared portion minus the y squared component it looks like this with a horizontal axis of symmetry of the curves here shown again by the red horizontal line segment. As in the other conic sections, the H value moves the center of the hyperbolic curves left and right. Again, X minus a positive H will move the hyperbola to the right, and minus a negative H will move the hyperbola to the left. Whereas the K value moves the center of the hyperbolic curves up and down. Again, if it's Y minus a positive number, it will move up. To summarize, we went over the four conic sections. Here is the standard form of an equation for the circle with a graph of a circle. Here is the standard form of an equation for an ellipse, in this case a horizontal ellipse where the number under the x variable is larger than the number under the y variable. Here is the standard form of an equation for a parabola. This is one where there is a y squared, so the parabola opens up sideways. And finally, here's the standard form of an equation for a hyperbola. A key thing to remember in all of these is that if the value of h is positive so that it's x minus a number, the conic section, circle, ellipse, parabola, or hyperbola shifts to the right. And likewise, if the value of the constant k is a positive number so that it's y minus a positive number, the circle, ellipse, parabola, or hyperbola shifts upward. It's good to commit to memory the, the forms for all the equations of conics, but if you have a TI-84 plus or 84 plus silver edition graphing calculator, it comes standard with an application called conics. It can also be put on a TI-83 plus calculator as well. You get to it by pressing the purple apps key. From here you can scroll down to the conics application which happens to be number five in my calculator. When you press enter, you will see this menu with the conics circle, ellipse, hyperbola, and parabola displayed. If we choose conic section 2, ellipse, this is the screen we get. We see the two forms of equations for ellipses along with a little sketch of the orientation of the two types of ellipses. We can do similarly and look at the standard forms of equations for all the four conic sections. This has been Graphing the Conics, an introduction. There will be more detailed lessons on graphing each type of conic section. I invite you to view those as needed. Thanks for viewing.